you want to package 20 boxes with dimensions 6 inches by 8 inches by 10 inches for shipping. Which box size should you use? Box 1 has dimensions 18 by 20 by 24 inches. Box 2 has dimensions 20 by 24 by 28 inches. We will begin by determining whether the volume of the large boxes are greater than the volume of the 20 smaller boxes, but that alone is not enough information to make our final decision. We will also have to check the dimensions of the box to make sure at least 20 of the smaller boxes will fit inside the larger boxes. Let's begin by determining the volume of the 20 boxes. The volume of a box is equal to length times width times height, and therefore V sub B, the volume of the 20 boxes, is equal to 20 times the volume of one small box, which is 6 inches, times 8 inches, times 10 inches. Because the units are in inches, the volume is in cubic inches. This product is equal to 9,600, giving us 9,600 cubic inches. And that's determine the volume of box one and box two. V sub one, the volume of box one is equal to 18 inches times 20 inches times 24 inches. V sub two, the volume of box two is equal to 20 inches times 24 inches times 28 inches. And now let's go to the calculator. V sub 1 is equal to 8,640 cubic inches. V sub 2 is equal to 13,440 cubic inches. By the way, we can see the volume of box 1 is less than the volume of the 20 smaller boxes, and therefore box 1 is too small. Let's go ahead and label box one a no. Notice the volume of box two is greater than the volume of the 20 smaller boxes, but that alone does not tell us that box two is large enough. We also need to check the dimensions to make sure at least 20 of the smaller boxes will fit inside box two. Let's do this on the next slide. Again, we know box one is a no. Let's label this large box on the right as box two. Let's label this edge 24 inches, this edge 20 inches, and this edge 28 inches. We want to place the 20 boxes inside this large box with the least amount of waste. And again, notice how each small box has dimensions 6 inches by 8 inches by 10 inches. So because this edge here is 24 inches, and 24 is divisible by 6 or 8, we need to place the edges that are 6 or 8 inches along this edge here, measuring 24 inches. Let's go ahead and use the 6 inch edges. 6 times 4 is 24. Let's mark off 4 6 inch segments along this edge of 24 inches. Next, notice how the edge of 10 inches will fit nicely along the edge that measures 20 inches in the large box. Since 10 times 2 is equal to 20, let's mark off two segments of 10 inches along the edge measuring 20 inches. That leaves us, that leaves us with the edge of 8 inches to place along the longer edge that measures 28 inches. Notice how there are three 8 inch segments in 28 with four inches left over. Eight times three is 24, plus four is 28. Let's mark off three segments of eight inches along the edge measuring 28 inches with four inches left over. And now let's outline the placement of the boxes. And now let's count the boxes along this front face. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then twelve more boxes will fit behind these twelve boxes. Twelve times two is equal to twenty-four. 
Box two will hold 24 boxes that measure six inches by eight inches by 10 inches with this extra space on top left over. And since 20 boxes is less than 24 boxes, box two will work. You should use box two. We'll take a look at another example in the next video. Thank you for watching.